We take cells from all sources, from animals, uh, human uh, cell lines, uh, and then we magnetize them to, uh, to make a three-dimensional structure. So take your imagination to where, what you can do with magnetized cells. Say you have an uh, injury to your uh, skin, or injury to your heart, or stomach lining. We can magnetize cell, uh, stem cells from those regions and put them there um, in a specific womb uh, where they'll have a regenerative or uh, therapeutic effect. So all we really do is we sprinkle the nanoparticles over the cells to magnetize them overnight. The next day what we'll do is we'll take the cells and we'll move them into this uh, 384 well plate. We'll then print the cells into spheroids just by placing the 384 well plate onto this magnetic drive. We'll be able to form one spheroid per well. We'll leave this 384 well plate on the magnet for anywhere between 15 minutes to uh, overnight. The next day we can then release the, uh, the plate off of the magnetic drive and allow the cells to culture long term. The majority of biomedical research has been done on uh, two-dimensional surfaces, uh, either glass or plastic. These surfaces and these models ha do not rep uh, represent native tissue or don't replicate uh, functionality. And so we know that we have to go to three-dimensional structures, but there are issues with uh, how do we test them, how do we image, um, basically what do the cells look like uh, in, in those three-dimensional structures. We took induced pluripotent stem cell cardiomyocytes, so essentially skin cells that are uh, differentiated into heart cells. And then we aggregated them in, uh, into a spheroid, and then they started beating. They kind of naturally just uh, started beating on their own. And so that was really neat. You know, in 2D, you know, it's very hard to see uh, th these cells beat. Essentially, you know, imagine a you know, glass kind of beating. It wouldn't, it just kind of vibrates. So in 3D, we were actually able to get like a very contractile, you know, it looks like a heart beating. This is an NSF funded project because a lot of 3D cell culture systems today, uh, while they recreate native tissue and environments, uh, suffer from uh, technical issues such as ease of handling, exchange of media, uh, things that, that are important for cell culture and cell maintenance. And so using our system uh, with magnets and magnetic forces, we're offered a lot, uh, a lot of, uh, we're offered ease in handling, as well as uh, high throughput and uh, control.